Hey guys, let's do some numericals of uh, NSC. Topic is our of uh, let's see my book. We have to solve the numerical from the class two, and the numerical is this sixty three. Medical number 63. A ship has a propeller or diameter. The diameter uh, D is equal to 5.5 meter. And the pitch ratio, pitch ratio is 1. And a speed of uh, 20 knot. Delivered power is 7300 kilowatt. Shaft speed, uh, speed, sorry, at speed, shaft speed is equal to 2.2 revolution per second. Transmission efficiency, transmission efficiency is 97%. Transmission efficiency, propeller efficiency is equal to 0.61 or 61%. Propulsive coefficient based on the shaft power, shaft power, propulsive coefficient, coefficient is 0.53 and slip ratio real slip ratio is 0.35 or 35 percent we have to find the thrust power number one so for finding the thrust power uh, we have the formula we have the formula what is the formula the formula is because the delivered power is given so the formula is we can find from this this is the propeller this is the shock power this is the delivered power this is the thrust power here and effective power thrust power so if you yeah, we have this deliver power if we uh, here it is transmission efficiency if we uh, use the transmission efficiency with the short power I mean deliver power our short power is equal to transmission efficiency then we can get the shock power shock power is equal to deliver power our transmission efficiency deliver power is 7300 divided by transmission efficiency with what is 0.97 here it is so by calculating 7300 divided by 0.97 give us 7525.77 kilowatt okay we get 7525.77 kilowatt that's uh, let me check uh, in the book okay that's good now we have to because we have the pro propulsive coefficient short power we have to multiply with this with the propulsive coefficient 0.53 multiply by 0.53 we got 3988 kilowatt so it's the our number uh, we got thrust power okay now the part b this is part a what's the part b part b what we have to find the part b is Taylor fraction for the trailer fraction you have a real slip 
from the real slip is equal to vt minus va speed of advance theoretical velocity vt or, or divided by vt we have to find vt we do not have this vt vt is equal to p into n we have the p uh, which is uh, p is equal to uh, propeller pitch divided by diameter into uh, speed so sorry this is the formula for the ratio uh, we have the ratio uh, so uh, pitch ratio is equal to pitch over divide diameter we have the pitch ratio we do not have this so pitch ratio into dia is equal to pitch we have to put this pitch here pitch ratio we have 1 into dia 5.5 and uh, p is the pitch so putting this into the this formula 1 into 5.5 into what is the speed and uh, here it is i think 2.2 2.2 what's let's see 5.5 into 1 into 2.2 we got 12.1 it's 12.1 meter per second and uh, we have to convert this knots into uh, meter per second 1852 divided by 3600 so we get uh, 1852 divided by 3600 into 20 knots 10.2 we got 10.2 meter per second so there's the first part part e thrust power the second part i'm uh, doing set a for the trail fraction now putting this into the formula vt here it is vt is uh, what is vt vt is this 12.1 12.1 minus speed of advance uh, now i do not have speed of advance we have to find the speed of advance 12.1 into the real slip real slip is 0.35 into 12.1 into 12.1 minus VA so VA here 12.1 multiplying this and delivering it here 0.53 into 12.1 we got to 4.23 12.1 minus here it is 7.865 meter per second speed of advance for weight fraction weights fraction and tail weight fraction is fraction v minus v is so divided by v for the fraction uh, v we have v 12.2 minus 7.865 10.2 10.2 answer divided by 10.2 it's 0 0.228 or 229 we can round off that's all for the third part. Now I have to remove some of the parts. Okay. Um, I'm removing for the third part, which is ship resistance. There's a second answer. I will I will write the answer here. 3988 is the first answer. Kilowatt B is chain of fraction 0.229 and C I'm going to find. I have to find what is C. C. We have to find the ship resistance. So for the ship resistance, the formula is R T is equal to uh, R T into R T is equal to E P into V. I think so. Let's check the formula first, then I will. Uh, solve this numerical for you yeah it's no no, no. EP here, here it is EP is equal to RT into V so I have to find first this EP and the V I already have then then I can find find out the RT so for the EP EP this one uh, I already have the thrust power uh, no uh, the, yeah the thrust power I already find it in the previous uh, so what's the thrust power is uh, sorry the shaft power I mean the thrust power 
it was 3989. So multiplying this with the propulsive coefficient, which is 0.61, I will get the EP. So 3989 8, 9, 9, 9 into 0.61 24 level 3.29 kilowatt. So putting this in the above formula 2433.29 is equal to RT and V divided by EP. So V is 10.2, so divided by 10.2. Here it is right. We got 238.5 kN. So that's the total resistance. Okay, that's all for this numerical. Please subscribe my video. If you like it, I will make more about the numericals. Thank you.